In the fallout of the Cambridge Analytica Facebook scandal, where has Cambridge Analytica's staff gone and their board of directors? Well, they were banned from Facebook, but the people have gotten the band back together, it seems. Um, that all broke a week ago, and now uh, Rebecca and Jennifer Mercer, daughters of the hedge fund tycoon uh, Robert Mercer, have just joined the board of a mysterious new company, according to public filings at Britain's uh, company's house, Emerdata. Uh, was incorporated in August of 2017, and the Mercers were appointed to its board March 16th this year. Who else is on board? Cambridge Analytica is now suspended. Chief Executive Alexander Nix, have you ever heard of him? Uh, is also listed as a director, as is Julian Wheatland, chairman of Cambridge Analytica parent firm SCL Group. More. Wheatland set up Emerdata along with Cambridge Analytica's chief data officer, Alexander Taylor. And yes, there is even more. Uh, another notable company director is Johnson Chun Shun Ko, um, the deputy chairman of Frontier Services Group. Who are they? They're a private security firm which mostly operates in Africa and is currently chaired by US businessman and prominent Trump supporter, Eric Prince. Everybody's involved. He's best known for. Funding private military group Blackwater US and is the brother of US Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. Okay, so these are some of the worst people on earth. <laughs> it's okay, so just true. to be clear, okay. So Robert and Rebecca Mercer are like out of a comic book. They're villain, comic book villains. They actually remind me of the family from Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah. like, don't go up to the house, okay. <laughs> Um, and so why do I say that? First of all, they revel in buying politicians. Uh, and they spend tens of millions of dollars just buying politicians left and right. Uh, and then pretending to be for freedom. And guess what they're looking for out of those politicians? The freedom to have less taxes for their uh, billionaire um, family, okay? Of course, okay, so then, but like the Koch brothers are like, oh, this is all about liberty, right? Your liberty? No, 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 their liberty, okay. So all right, then they set up this tangled web. Robert Mercer funded Breitbart, Steve Bannon is the head of Breitbart. Then they take Breitbart, I'm sorry, Steve Bannon and Kellyanne Conway. The Mercers had them and they were part of a contingent that was actually originally supporting Ted Cruz. They'd given $13 million to Ted Cruz. Then they moved them once Ted Cruz loses over to Donald Trump. And they tell Donald Trump, hey, we're coming with our bag of money, but you're gonna put these two people into your campaign, Steve Bannon and Kellyanne Conway. So they insert them into that campaign. Meanwhile, Mercer has also funded Cambridge Analytica. And Cambridge Analytica then goes and basically steals 50 million people's private information, which they then use to help Trump. Now, the Blackwater guys come in. Now, they have a um, private contractors that do uh, security work is another word for mercenaries. So they have mercenaries that used to operate in America, Blackwater. We actually started that mercenary group by funding it during the Iraq war to go kill people in Iraq with no uh, accountability at all. Once we, once it became so public at how many people they were murdering totally indiscriminately, and they were brought up on charges here in America, they did a cute little thing, you'll love this. They changed the name from Blackwater to Z. I think they changed it one more time. So changing the name to another company is old hat for these guys. And so what happens here? Cambridge Analytica is caught with their hand in the cookie jar. They're in a world of trouble. They take the same exact cast of characters. They move it to a new company with a different name, Emerdata. But the parent group of CLS, CCS, sorry, S -C -L. SCL group is the same. They have the same address as Emerdata. They're the ones who started Cambridge Analytica in the first place. It's all the same SCL group. It's the most obvious thing in the world. And part of what Cambridge Analytica got caught on was the taking the 50 million users information from Facebook. The other part was Channel 4 in Britain did a wonderful sting operation on them. Sent in an undercover reporter pretending to be from a less developed country saying, how can you help manipulate my elections? I think you did a wonderful job for Trump. They're like, boy, did we, we did a great job for Trump. And you should see the elections we fixed in Africa. Who else operates in Africa as mercenaries? Oh, right, Eric Prince's group, Frontier, which is also on the board of this new company, right? 
So, and then they bragged about, oh, we blackmail politicians all the time, we get them prostitutes, then we get them on tape. I've also heard that somewhere else before about getting caught on tape and being extorted. Anyway, and so, and by the way, Eric Prince is the guy who went to a secret meeting in Seashells Island that was recently revealed where he met with some of the top Russian officials as an envoy for Donald Trump. So this is a tangled web that they have weaved, but it is not with your best interest in mind. So they want to make money, they want to manipulate elections, and the bottom line is their bottom line, and that's it. Since they're now so publicly known in the West, so US, UK, it's going to be hard for Republicans, for example, to use Emmer data, even though it's, it's not because it's obvious that it's Cambridge Analytica. It's obvious to us. Some of them use it anyway and go, "Oh no, no, Cambridge Analytica, no, there are at least two or three new people in this company." <laughs> right? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's some conspiracy theory, right? Um, but mainly, they're going to go make money from manipulating uh, elections in other countries. So what they bragged about in that undercover investigation is they're like there's no check in a lot of these African countries. And in and in the West, we have to kind of basically they didn't say steal the information, but it is in fact what they did in mining the information from Facebook. But in African countries, the leader who wants to get reelected, and by the way, it's not just African countries, but that was the example that they were using. Um, they just hand us all the data of everyone in the country. And then it's so much easier to manipulate them. And another guy on the tape that works for Cambridge Analytica says, now remember, you have to try to do propaganda without them realizing that it's propaganda. And by the way, where have I seen that movie before? Yeah. I think I, that movie was released in 2016. But it's interesting, you say that they're so well known in America. Well, they, they already got their president and they got their tax break. Yeah, so. mission accomplished, that tax break. Look, created a one and a half trillion dollar deficit, but when you take into account the money they took out from other parts of the budget and everything else they moved around, some estimates say that that was a six trillion dollar tax cut for the rich. Now, what wouldn't you do for six trillion dollars? And so what if they get caught and oh golly gee, you'll never work in this town again. Oh Well, I'll just have to settle for my six trillion dollars. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. tytnetwork.com slash join.